Welcome back. So I want to start creating and updating my orders actually inside. So I want to be able to create orders soon and I want to be able to update orders again like we could in the old setup. But before we do that, I want to have a look at the customer app context. Because I think it's, it's pretty important to know one very important thing about the context and that is that the context is not the database. The context is not the database. It is, however, an access point to the database, right? So the context is a current in-memory version of the database, but it only contains the data that's relevant for our application right now. So if we look at the database right here, this database will contain all the data for our application, everything, everything in there, right? All the orders ever being made, all the customers ever being uh, made inside our data set is inside a database. But the context is the connection point to that database, but it'll only contain parts of the database, the parts that we require right now. And that's very important to know. So think of the context as kind of a, a in-memory set of all the data that we, we require at this very moment to execute some kind of command. So if we need at this very moment to execute a command called find by ID, I'll go and grab the information for the order in this case. Let's just try and jump here. I'll go and grab the information for the order. I'll include the customers for that order and I'll just get that single order. So that pretty much means in the context right now, all I have after this action has been run is a single order with a single customer. The rest of the database is not in there. It's only the single order and the single customer that's in the database right now, uh, sorry, in the DB context right now. Now all of the rest of the data is of course still in the database, but the context will be, that will only contain the stuff you want to work with at the current time. So let's say that I did a read by ID. I got the order, I got the customer into my context and I got a response back. Let's just try and do that. Just do a simple get request right here. Just get a single order. There we go. Now I get the order back. I get the customer back. The context is now set up with that information, right? But as soon as I do a new request, let's just try and get number two, the context is cleaned again. That's another important thing. So as soon as I do the next request in our setup, this guy is cleaned out. Pretty much meaning now it's a blank context again and I'm going to the database and only getting customer with ID um, one and the order with ID two now, nothing else. So it's very important that you guys understand contexts are only a set of the actual database. The context contains an access point and in memory, the information that you need from the database right now, nothing else. The rest is staying in the database. So that's very important. And also the context will be cleared every time you make a new request with our current setup. The context will be blank There'll be nothing in there until you start working with getting data, uh, saving data, doing whatever you want to do. But until that point, the context is a blank sheet that you can start using to map information from the database. That's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we'll try and use this new information. Have fun.